on today's video, I'll be uh, running some computer emulators on my uh, Pow Kitty X55. So I inserted my micro SD card into my computer, which is this right here. That's for the secondary um, micro SD slot. So I just put some ROMs in here, some games for the MS-DOS. MS-DOS is called PC. As you can see here, I put some PC games in here, MS-DOS games. I also put some NEC PC-88 games and NEC PC-98 games. And the BIOS folder, you do have to have the BIOS for the NEC PC-98 and the NEC PC-88. So this is for the NEC PC-98. This is for the NEC PC-88. You could find all the BIOS files on archive.org. This is for the NEC PC-98. You can download this. I'll leave it in the video description below, or you could download the whole BIOS pack. Could go here and download all the BIOS files. And you could just put it all into the BIOS folder and you should get all the BIOS files for the NEC PC98 and PC88. That's pretty much it. So now I'm going to go back to my Powkitty X80 X55 and I'm gonna run some DOS games. And NEC PC 98 to 988 games as well. Let me check this on my computer. I'll see you there. Okay, for computer emulators, you need a uh, keyboard and a mouse. So I have this wireless keyboard and mouse. So that is what I'm going to be using. And I have this USB OTG C uh, to USB cape, uh, connector. And this is connected to my wireless. Uh, mouse and keyboard. If you want to know where you can buy this, I'll leave it in the video descriptions below. And uh, let's start. So I inserted my micro SD card in here. And now I'm ready. And now it's on. Okay, let's see if DOS is in there. There it is, MS DOS. Let's run some MS DOS games. Let's try this. Something as simple as that. Let's see if that works. appears to be working. We need a mouse and a keyboard to play this game, so I'll be using the mouse and keyboard. The keyboard is working, but the mouse is...
I think the battery is dead for the mouse. Well, let me get back. Okay, the mouse is working. Okay, so let's play. The screen is so much bigger than the R36S. Nice big screen, five and a half inch screen. Okay, so what I could do now. So let me get out of here. Press escape, escape to get out. Let's try some other games. Sim City. Let's see if this works. Wow, it does work. Wow, it looks nice too. <laughs> it's amazing. I could play DOS games on a portable handheld video game system. It runs nice. I mean, there's no problem with it whatsoever. Okay, so it runs. So let me get out of here. Let's try some other computer emulators. Go back, back. Let's try PC, NEC PC 88. Elevator action, let's play that. I think you could use the controls on this. Plays like how it's supposed to, this is how it plays on the actual hardware. Okay, get out of here now. Let's try that. Having this nice, having this big screen really makes it really nice. Nice 
big screen <laughs> to play retro computer games on. Alright, let me get out of here. Okay, now I'll be running the PC-98 emulator. This time you need a keyboard that has a scroll lock key on it. Like this one has scroll lock, the other keyboard did not have scroll lock. So scroll lock enables you to get game focus, which is required. I don't think the controller works for this game. You have to use a keyboard to play this. And you also need a number pad as well. The big screen definitely does help. One thing that sucks is that you have to play with a keyboard. That's one thing that's bad about it. Like I said, you can't use the controller here with that emulator. Let me get keyboard scroll lock off. Let me get out of here. So that's how I. That's how you could run the NEC PC uh, 98 emulator. It's not ideal for this because you have to use a. You have to use a regular keyboard for it or it won't work because the way you control it is you use the number pad here and that other keyboard doesn't have number pad as you can see so you can't use it that emulator just isn't ideal i guess it's ideal for ms dos and everything but that's pretty much it what i wanted to share with you today if you have any thoughts or questions, you can leave it in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.